contents of this video will include the major parts of the sewing machine, the stitch formation, or how stitches are made, and the major types of sewing machines. Take up lever that uh, we saw on the other machine, but this machine you can't actually see it because it's under the cover. This machine adds an automatic needle threader which allows you at a touch of a lever to thread the sewing. There is a, in each case, the new stitch was uh, created simply by rubbing against the new section of the camera. We're going to look at the types of sewing machines in terms of the drive types, the shuttle types, the oscillating sewing. To wind the shuttle bobbin, you place you would take the bobbin with the bobbin thread on it, slide it into position, and there's a little groove right here, and you would slide the, the thread back and underneath the tension spring. And by doing so, you would establish the tension for the bobbin. Here we see the insides with the feed dogs above and the bobbin carrier below. If you notice that silver streak that's going around toward the bottom uh, around the entire bobbin area, that is the hook assembly. Produces a seam, overcasts the edge, and trims the fabric on an impact. Machines are essentially a single stitch machine that uses a uh, moving arm to position the fabric underneath the needle. The power is applied by hand, foot, or motor. The balance wheel turns the upper shaft. Levers and gears transfer energy to the needle bar and lower shaft. Movement of the upper shaft causes the needle to rise and fall. The movement of the lower shaft causes the feed dogs to move and the hook to move. Movement of the needle, feed dogs, and hook must be timed to work perfectly together.